Chef Lois Ellen Frank, and I'm going to show you how to make a three-color coleslaw. It's full of vegetables, it's wonderful to eat, and it has lots of nutrients. So let me show you what I would use. I start with purple cabbage, and I'm going to shred that, and then I'm going to use a white cabbage, and these are probably vegetables that you're all very familiar with. Next, I'm going to use something that's a dark leafy green. It's called kale. And you've probably seen it in the supermarket, but I bet you passed it by. It's wonderful, it's leafy green, it's delicious, and it's very easy to use. So you can use any kind of kale. There are different kinds of kale. So next time you're in the grocery store, look for something called kale. And this is what makes this three color coleslaw. So to start with, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my shredded purple cabbage and I'm gonna mix that together. Our recipe today calls for about two cups. So depending on how many people you're feeding, uh, you could add to this recipe. Well, I'll just make it uh, with two cups. Next, we're gonna use a green cabbage and I've shredded that as well. So we're gonna actually add two cups of that. And you can start to see that the colors are just amazing in this dish. Uh, this is one of my favorites, and this dish you can actually make ahead of time. It's perfect in summer. I really like to make this, and then my favorite thing to do is either to eat it as a side or to actually use it. You can make a bean burrito. You can make a bean taco with it. You can use it with rice. It's very crunchy. It's very delicious. It has a very fresh taste to it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add carrots. And what I've done with my carrots today is I've just shredded those, but long ways. You can use a grater, you can use anything you want to shred your own carrots. And then we're just gonna make sure that this is all mixed. And you can see the color is absolutely beautiful in this. We've got purple, and we've got green and dark green. Uh, and kids really like this because it's, it's so colorful. And I have kids all the time in many of my classes and we do a kids camp and they love this dish. It's absolutely wonderful to make. Now I'm gonna to toast a pumpkin seed. And a pumpkin seed, of course, is the green seed inside the pumpkin. And this is an ancient ingredient that's been used by native people for literally thousands of years. It also adds some protein to this dish. And I'm gonna to toast it so that it just brings out the flavor of that pumpkin seed. So in order to do that, I do what's called a dry toast. And a dry toast is just where I get my pan really hot here you can see we have the pumpkin seeds. Now, a lot of times if you go to the supermarket, you can buy the pumpkin seeds with the white skin on them. And that's perfectly fine when you're eating them like a sunflower seed. But we've removed the outer white part. And what we're going to do is actually toast these. And they're going to puff just a little bit. So the idea for toasting pumpkin seeds is to put it in a dry pan. You can use any kind of pan. You can use a cast iron, you can use stainless steel. I really like a stainless steel. You could also do them in your oven, but there's a tendency to burn, so I tend to not use my oven. And then what we're gonna do is just let that get hot, and as soon as you start to hear those seeds pop, we're gonna remove them and add that to our wonderful three-color coleslaw. So while I'm waiting for my seeds to pop, I'm actually gonna mix together the dressing for this. And let me show you how I would do that. Now. For the salad dressing, we're actually going to use some very simple ingredients. We're going to use balsamic vinegar, which you can get at any supermarket. I'm going to use fresh squeezed lemon juice. And what I like to do is buy lemons and then I just squeeze them. So we're going to use a little bit of that. And then we're going to add some mustard. Now you can use any kind of mustard, but I really like Dijon. And Dijon usually means that it's a French mustard. It's a little spicy and it has, I think, some better flavor. So I'm going to leave that up to you, but I'm going to use Dijon today. And oh, look, we can hear our pumpkin seeds starting to pop. So now I'm just going to stir them in my saute pan. And as soon as they pop a little more, I'm going to pour them in in the bowl. While we're waiting for that, I've got my jam, and I'm using a raspberry jam. I do like to work with my farmer's market. I have an organic raspberry jam that I use, and I try and make sure that the jam is low sugar. So if you have access to a low sugar jam, I would recommend that you read your label and look to make sure that that sugar content is low uh, in your jam. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's it for the dressing. So now you can really hear 
my pumpkin seeds and you can start to see usually there'll be a little bit of smoke coming off that and you can start to see oh beautiful they're getting a nice brown color we're really bringing out that flavor and actually it really has a wonderful smell pumpkin seeds are one of my favorite seeds they are a very ancestral seed and so i really do like to use them and then these are done now you can see that they're perfectly brown. We've brought out a little of that flavor, a little of that oil, and that's going to be added to my coleslaw. So here we have our dressing. I'm just going to take my whisk and mix that together. Amazing. And then we're going to take our bowl of coleslaw. We're going to take our pumpkin seeds. Pour those on top, lovely, and our dressing, which is very easy to make. And now this dish, as I said earlier, is perfect to make early in the day. You can make it the day before uh, and bring this to a picnic. You can bring it to a family gathering. It's wonderful at a feast. It's a great side. And as I said, I actually use it on top of my favorite beans uh, inside a taco or a burrito. It's just easy to do, it's very quick, and I think you'll really enjoy it.